Yeah, I mean, I was impressed by our team. I think um, going into it, I said we're going to learn a lot about this team from our first match, and we did. We learned that our preparations and doubles paid off. Um, I think that we were much more prepared as doubles teams than they were. Um, we knew they were going to be strong in singles, and that was uh, an area where you know our vulnerability is a little bit. Um, so it, it was good that we came out. We almost took all three. Um, I think we could have. And then with our uh, singles, we had some impressive wins at two and three singles. And I think that that will help us as we're mentally preparing going into two more tough matches. So um, I was impressed with our team, and I thought they did well. And um, I think they all felt good, even though we lost. We did lose 5-4. Um, it could have gone either way, but, you know, I think they felt good about what the effort that they put into it, so. Yeah, I think, um, Charlotte in particular had, um, some tough matches last spring where she went three sets and had been ahead, so, you know, a couple of times and had let it slip, and so for her to kind of get over that hump is huge for her, and I think the team seeing her do that also has a big impact. It kind of says, you know, if, if you just keep at it and, and are patient with yourself, you know, you can, you can get, over, get over a hump like that. But also with Megan, I mean, she is a freshman. She's um, coming in from playing a lot of doubles in high school. And so for her, I think just to show as a freshman at two singles in the GLIAC to come up with a win like that where everybody's watching, all the pressure's on you, um, you know, it's like 100 degrees on the court. It's, there's a lot, of, a lot of outside vectors, and she pulled through. She, she was strong. I think that being able to, to take those matches with us going forward um, is going to help a lot and inspire the other people who maybe didn't pull their matches out to say, you know, I want to. I want that to be me next time. So, no, I thought it was good. It was good for our morale, and it was even though we lost, it was it was a good showing for us. So, um, I think from a doubles perspective, I think we're going to get stronger just from the being able to win some of those matches, a tough matches against a good team. Um, I think we're learning that if we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to keep getting better. And, and I feel like we're doing the things that are going to make us some of the strongest devil teams in the GLIAC, just from how we're performing already. Um, just smart play, consistent play. But then really in singles, I think we were exposed a little bit in our consistency, especially at the bottom of the lineup. Um, you know, we were definitely the less consistent team and we've just got to, we've got to stretch those matches out longer and make our opponents play and earn the victory, not just, um, you know, give it to them so easily. So, we, you know, that's going to be a big thing for us is, is just keep more balls in play and, and kind of dig in a little bit more to the match um, and have a little bit more patience. But so that's – I think we're going we're gonna to face some tougher singles players this week too. So um, it's just going to be a matter of just going, going out and giving it our best and – you know, hopefully coming up with some good results. Well, even though we lost, um, last year we lost 9-0 to them. So to come back this year and lose 5-4, I think that's a pretty big accomplishment for us. Um, we have a pretty new team this year. We lost a few girls last year. So um, we definitely worked hard during preseason, and I think the results, like, it really showed um, last round. Um, well, I definitely worked hard over the summer doing a lot of conditioning on my own, doing a lot of hitting, just repetitive stuff. Um, to The main thing I need to focus on is just staying patient and stuff. So I think that really helped me when we were playing Fair State. I just had to tell myself to stay patient and calm, and Jen was telling me the same thing. So just being very patient, that it really paid off. I think our goal is just to have overall show more leadership for myself personally and just improve my record from last year. I'm playing a few spots ahead where I was last year, so I think I'm going to have to work extra hard 
because it's just a whole new level of play. Uh, well, our goal right now is to be the top three in the GLIAC, and I mean, that's going to be tough, of course, but I think that by the way things are going now, we're just working so hard, conditioning off court, playing hard on court. I think that if we just keep our mindset on the goal, then we'll do good.